Hi, I'm Mike McCormick here at GBTA Studios, and I'm here with a special guest, Scott McCartney from the Wall Street Journal. Welcome, Scott. Great to be with you, Mike. Thank you for being here. It's good to be here. Well, certainly in travel and, and just in the world at, at large, right, we've had some very interesting uh, stories over the past year. So tell me, what are the top stories you've been covering? Well, I would say um, among the top, uh, the lack of traveler rights and treatment of travelers um, was a story before Dr. Dow got dragged off the United plane and certainly a story after. Um, I would say the, the meltdowns and disruptions that travelers have run into um, from construction at some of the major airports um, to uh, computer malfunctions, water pipe breaks. Um, I spent a lot of time the last year doing a story about uh, Delta's spring break meltdown a year ago um, where they canceled thousands of flights simply because uh, their crews were calling in on a landline and kept getting a busy signal. Um, hard to believe in this day and age. And then I think the, the other big thing is um, the, the continuing um, um, cramming down of coach um, accommodations and, and uh, whether it's seating or bathrooms or whatever, um, treatment of passengers and coach is a major issue. Yeah, so, uh, you know, when you look at those stories and, and certainly for the coverage, I mean, a lot of that has to do certainly with just, again, increasing number of passengers, you know, the ability for facilities to, and, and resources and infrastructure to catch up. And I, I know for us, a big part of what we focus on is continued investment in infrastructure across the board. I mean, and with all the growth figures that we're seeing and certainly predict, projections and projections of, you know, business travel, um, it's not going to get any easier. In fact, it, it, you know, again, the same challenges are going to be out there. So what do you see covering it in, when you look ahead? What, what areas are you going to focus on? What, what things, what stories are you looking for? Um, I really think coach conditions will be a continuing focus. Um, I also think um, d uh, privacy and data um, is a really interesting topic. I did a story recently on um, what flight attendants know about passengers. And, um, it, you know, they, they know how many miles you travel. They know what you paid for your fare. They, they, they know um, what your birthday is. Um, and some of that is, uh, is fun and interesting, and some of that can be creepy. Um, and and I think um, uh, just the, the 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 general challenge of traveler friction um, is going to continue to be. Um, I've written some about duty of care, but I think the notion of um, a corporate travel policy as a recruitment tool for new hires, or right. or as uh, just a, a benefit that people look at and compare as they compare health plans, um, is really going to be more and more of an issue. Right. Yeah. And again, uh, you said, like you said, it's not just duty of care, but it's duty of care in sense as a company, almost as a recruitment tool, and as a way that co you know companies are trying to differentiate themselves as an employer of choice. Right. Yeah, right. Very much so. Yeah. Well, again, we appreciate very much your coverage of the industry. Um, you know, you're you're certainly one of the uh, few dedicated travel writers out there. Um, and uh, you know, again, it, uh, it, it it's always good to have somebody out there looking on looking out on behalf of the traveler themselves, and we appreciate that. Great, thanks very much. Well, and thanks for coming today. I'm Mike McCormick here with Scott McCartney, and we'll be uh, see you all in Arena in just a few minutes. Enjoy. <laughs>